I want to check out something real quick. Uh, just to see if I can. Uh, and this will be like the most impromptu ever. I'll see if I can get uh, this possibly working. Uh, let me actually get some music on for a minute. I don't know the fuck I'll cancel you on Twitter if you say I don't have glasses one more time. I didn't say you didn't have glasses. It's just the, the like, similar, you know, as if... What's the hypothetical where it's, like, if people seeing uh, color could be completely different than how you see color, but how are you going to communicate that? It's like, is this green? Yeah, is this green? Yeah, both people are going to be like, it's green, but maybe my blue looks like you're green. You don't know that. So maybe my experience wearing glasses are completely different than yours. You never know. That's all I was saying. I wasn't saying you weren't having glasses. I'm just saying the experience was different. Maybe. Maybe not. That's a hypothetical that I don't think... I don't know if that could really ever be answered. Unless you were like... There are like systems where you can kind of interpret things from the brain like videos that people are currently watching and then kind of reconstruct the video which is a really cool thing but it is a really cool thing but the problem is is that like i don't know if the color i guess color wouldn't really take into account you're not gonna be able to like convert into an rgb signal and have different colors like i i we've seen the first new color it's not exactly how it works. <laughs> it's not quite right. But okay. Red, I'm colorblind without glasses, so red and green. Oh. Well, I'm... Okay, that part didn't know for one thing, too. Still, you know. Fine, blue. Again, that would still be different, but you, you know what I mean. For two people that are not colorblind... That hypothetical still kind of stands. I have not yet checked out, uh, and I have to see if I can even do it. I don't have it installed currently. Take those glasses off. Take those glasses off. Fuck. No, my glasses. Oh, my glasses are, are dead. Uh, but I, I haven't checked out F099, and I still want to do that. And that might be something of interest to, uh, to check out today. I wasn't really sure where to fit that into. That might be a good time for uh, for around the uh, the now times. I'm also supposed to wear my glasses due to astigmatism. Yeah, I have that as well. Um, for those unaware, astigmatism is like, you know, you basically get... Uh, you, you, it's, it's different depending on the person, but basically your eyes are like slightly irregularly shaped. So they're more like more like an oval than round but just like a tiny bit but enough that it distorts the like lens of your eye so that you're seeing light slightly more concentrated on a specific angle and so light just generally is a little bit sharper specifically from like reflections of light or like you know big bright spots of light like car headlights uh street lamps that kind of thing is like the most common uh, but it's all light literally all light <laughs> And it does affect your vision, too, because it's a little, like, unfocused and everything as well. Basically, I have a cone-shaped eye. Yeah, I guess it's more of a cone-shaped. You can get, like, different kinds of astigmatism for the shape, but it's, yeah, it's more of, like, a cone shape. You kind of get a bit more of that protrusion. Um, and you get a lot of, like, lines in lights, so you don't get, like, if you see, like, a light, it doesn't just soft fade out. It kind of has, like, streaks in it and, uh, I didn't know I had that for a very long time. I didn't even, you know, there's a lot of people that don't know about it and then they've had it like their whole life almost. And they're like, you know, I've even seen the post online where it's like, wait, people see lines? Wait, people don't see lines? It's like, you know, so depends. It goes from person to person. Um, I would say that even with glasses on, I still see the streaks, but they're like everything from the, the blurry side of it is mostly gone. So, you know, it be how it is. There you go. There's education for today. <laughs> Slightly inaccurate, but you know, g the general gist. The general gist. Oh, that's wrong. Uh, are we good? We're good. We're good, baby. We got it. My right eye is perfect. Left eye is bad. 
Yeah, I, I think my left eye is slightly worse than my right eye, but it's like it's a very minor thing. They're overall just both not having a great time. Uh, but okay, great. We're going to check out some... 99. Apparently I was watching YouTube last on Switch. That's an interesting thing. I rarely ever do that. Uh, fine. Black. Fine. Update. Piece of shit. Never mind. We're still stuck here. Uh, welcome back to the Switch. Can I play the F-099 now? I can. Let's go. I hope you guys can hear it. Uh, let me, uh, get the music out of here. There we go. f -Zero. How often do we play Switch, man? It's kind of crazy. All right. I hope I have, like, a tutorial on how everything works. I mean, I know F-Zero generally enough, I guess, but I assume there's a few newer mechanics. All right. You can put your glasses back on. I can put the glasses back <gasps> Let's go. Um, I assume as well. Well, I know for sure that the original F-Zero with, um, like, whenever you got a boost, it would be every, like, lap you'd get, like, one boost you can use. And in this, they did it in, like, the normal F-Zero. Every single other game past the original F-Zero was basically, you can get a boost <laughs> uh, from your power meter, which is much better. More dangerous, but better. Oh, I'm just playing Mute City right now? Oh, Jesus. Oh, which one's go? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna sound like an old per- You sound like an old person whenever you say that, but I actually don't know. Uh, ex uh, accelerate is B. See, I wasn't gonna guess that, too. Uh, okay. Accelerate, boost, slide right, slide left. Easy. Got it. Uh, start with lab one. F-Zero is great. This is actually kind of cursed to see this in widescreen. I'm not gonna lie. So, classic F-Zero, and like F-Zero like this, I was ne <laughs> I've never been good at. Yeah, that's the weirdest thing. Is having like a, a boost as the boost meter, and you get it right away. That's weird. Interesting. I've got to imagine everybody's, uh, like, literally a god at this now. And so if I join, like, one game, I'll just be, like, immediately destroyed, no matter what I do. <laughs> so that's good, too. Uh, keep in mind your boost range power, yes. I'm aware. Yeah, I gotcha. Oh, I went back. Gotcha. I need some uh, energy, please. I know there's like the whole skyway and everything, right? I'm trying to like use the the turn effectively, but I'm doing real bad that way. Boost? No. Now you boost. The boost lasts a lot longer than I remember. Are the only ones here? Hey, look. That's a okay with me. All good. It's all uh, just a casual time, you know. We're just kind of chilling. I'm glad there is a tutorial. I was I was kind of hoping for that. I was hoping it wasn't just like a text thing either. It's kind of cool that it just like pops you in. Slide to avoid opponents, or just drive past them like this. Oh no! <laughs> I'm doing real great at avoiding opponents. There we go. God, that's so much louder than I want it to be. Collect super spark. Yeah, see, that's not exactly an original game mechanic. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, lo I have so much nostalgia for the super sparks. Uh, drop by golden bumpers. Oh. Interesting. I thought you grabbed those from other players, but... Yeah, the Skyway. See, that's... That's such a weird thing. That was definitely an uh, OG F Zero hit. Okay, getting all the super sparks, super boost. Holy shit! 
the Skyway, baby. That's actually kind of cool. I like that a lot. All right, nice. All right, now I know Terra had the whole wrist reacts thing. I just want to get through that, but we'll uh, we'll hop over there too. I don't want to forget that. Assuming Terra's still in there. Uh, Mario Kart, if it was good. <laughs> Look, I, you know, I don't fully disagree. I like F-Zero GX a lot, and that's a really good game. It's really fast and all of that. It doesn't have, like, item use, but it's basically just, like, you know... You can attack other racers, and you can boost a lot, and that's pretty much it. So, I mean... I like Mario Kart as well. There are definitely parts of it that are really good, that are unique to Mario Kart, but... I like the way that drifting works in that, but... This has that simplicity, you know? F-Zero 25... Oh, I can only do 25? Oh! No. Need items, your skill issue? I mean, it's kind of based around the entirety off. of the game. That's literally the whole point of it, but... I generally don't. Maybe to, like, protect from other items behind you, but other than that, pretty much all you need. Um, okay. We're gonna check that out in a minute. Uh, but real quick, I'm going to... Uh, let's see what uh, Terra's doing on stream, which means I also have to swap over, which is real fun. That's real good. Need a monitor remote, man. I need it. It's crucial. It's the only way I can uh, do everything qua like fast. Quast. Why was I going to say quast? Is that even a word? It's probably a word on Urban Dictionary. Likely, I would say. But I don't fully know. What's going on in here? Oh. Terra's just playing super hot. It's been a long time since I played super hot. I've actually played more of super hot VR than original super hot. Just the circumstances of it. I have a really old version of uh, super hot on uh, Prime Gaming. When it was on like, Twitch, literally Twitch Prime before it was Prime Gaming. So that's at least from like five years ago. The prop VR is so goaded. It's very good. I, like a huge amount of credit to uh, Super Hot VR for really feeling, for really getting that like perfect, uh, like it, it's actually coded perfectly to the point where like literally every tiny movement you do, I have to imagine that must have been really hard to figure out how to get to work. Because in this, it's like, oh, if you're walking forward or jumping or looking around, that's all you need to track for movement and everything. Oh, no. <laughs> Get the gun, Terra. Okay, you got it. I think if, if you haven't played VR and you haven't gotten into VR games, I think Super Hot VR, Half-Life Alex, of course... Um, after that, like, you know, maybe Boneworks. I can't fully speak on that. I've never actually played Boneworks. Because I've constantly waited for it to go on sale, and every time it's on sale, it's like, ah, 5% off. It's like, oh. But it looks good. After that, probably, like, games like Job Simulator and Beat Saber is pretty good. I've never been good at Beat Saber, but... We're really close on that last one. Sorry, I shouldn't say on the last one, but you know, you know what I meant. I love the melee Game animation Terra for this. Can't aim for shit. Well, look, I'm not saying anything. I, you know, it's not easy to aim in Super Hot because everybody's moving around and you kind of have to, like, move while to actually get your bullet there. So it's a little bit more effort to do, but... Oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn it. That guy just popped out of the corner. Fucked up the whole entire rhythm. Oh, no. Tara, did you get him, or is he still behind you? I couldn't tell. Oh, okay, you got him. Or that guy has also missed every single shot. <laughs> damn. 
Because you have speedrun challenge on. That's interesting. Gotcha. I would join the VC for funny, but Franny's sadding. Sadding. Sading? Sadding? Well, I'm sorry, that's, uh... That's happening. It's all good. Look, Terra's just uh, trying to get through this level. It's gonna be glor- Terra, you have to get through the level, otherwise... It's gonna be bad. Hello, EJ. How's it going? Welcome. <laughs> there you go. You got it, Terra. It's exactly what we needed. I think they're coming out of the door, so I would say, yeah. <laughs> I think they're, uh, they're approaching you right now. Is that everybody? Oh. <laughs> that was not a great position to be in. Oh, shit. Hopefully that one has ammo in it. Okay. Imagine you picked up the wrong gun. That would have been awful. All right. You can put your glasses <laughs> back on. You can put on. the glasses back on. I'll do it in as Terra moves around here. Oh, he's not moving anymore. Shit. I gotta, I gotta, like, time it right. As Terra moves. Oh, okay, I can I can stab myself in the eye with my glasses. <laughs> wow, what what a what a way to fail putting on glasses. I it's such a simple task, but I, I did so badly already. Yeah, you're already like trained for the fight pit. Oh, this is just Batman. I don't know why I'm specifically reminded of Batman Arkham City, but it's got that same vibe. I feel like Super Hunt is the only PC game that feels like it was made for VR first. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. I think Cluster Truck feels that way. Cluster Truck feels very much like a VR game. I don't even... Does Cluster Truck even have a VR mode? I think so. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, right. I forgot I had all these like file folders and stuff in the uh, the final release of this game. Cluster Truck? Do you guys not know Cluster Truck? That's a great game. There you go. We should play that too. <laughs> I don't know. I have that in Prime Gaming. I'd have to. I don't think I can get access to it right now. It's a good game, though. It's it's literally all it is, is just, like, levels of going around, and, uh, you, you, like, start... The environment changes wherever you are, but it's very basic environments, but you just, like... You start out on a, on a truck, like a semi-truck, and you literally just... <laughs> you just platform from the trucks, and you use the trucks to get to the other level, and there's, like, obstacles in the way and everything, but you have to stay on the trucks the whole time. Or, sorry, you, you have to only land on the trucks. You can't land on anything else. Right on mute? I'm, I'm literally... What are you expecting me to say that I'm not already saying right now? <laughs> I'm just going to make everybody have a terrible time. Cluster truck or super cluster truck? Is there super cluster truck? I'm not aware of that. Could be wrong. Oh, well, stream has ended. Oh, shit. Alright, well... I mean, that's... that's that. I mean, I'm glad that you shared some Super Hot. The Super Hot's good. I don't know if I played all the way through that version of Super Hot. Like, Super Hot VR, yes, but... That version of Super Hot, I don't think I've ever gotten to the whole thing. But I could be wrong. Uh, but okay. But dum dum but dum I'm gonna switch my monitor for again. Again, need a remote for that. I wanted to get a better monitor, but at the same time... I'm not done yet? Will you stop stream? <laughs> so as far as I'm aware... Yes, sir. Uh... But okay. <laughs> hour go by. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, so I literally can only do F-025 right now. I can't even practice or workshop or anything. <laughs> I have options. Wait, quick. Rumble minimap and controls. Okay, great. 
Is this just gonna be like a bot race? Am I, am I still tutorializing? Use my machine. Uh, durability, recovery. Uh, fire Stingray. Easily Fire Stingray. Or do I want a steaming pile of shit? No, generally not. I think I'm good. I think I'm alright. I'm good with me Fire Stingray. And hopefully that's good. This has to be a bot race, right? Because I know there's like customizability and there's like nobody... Races get heated when there are more opponents on the track. Here are a few tips to improve your piloting. Uh, oh, right. B. I was about to accelerate with A. I thought you were tainted blue baby, though. Uh, well, I mean, in that case, I guess. Oh, yeah, ZL and ZR to do a spin attack. Right, I forgot about that. That takes power away from me, though. Is that even a good thing to do? Probably not. Oh, you can actually burn out in this? Oh, shit. All right, there we go. Gotcha. Oh, that gives you the spark points and stuff. Oh, shit. There we go. I'm good. Got it. Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, he actually avoided me. God, there's a lot of, uh, like, rift to my vehicle. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. It's so much drift. Alright, well, that sucks. I should have probably just picked Captain Falcon. God, he does not control well. Alright. Well, I'll try it again. Great. I'm, I'm majorly fucked up by the B acceleration. It's so weird. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Well, I gotta get through my tutorial. Because otherwise I'm gonna be fucked. There we go. All right. I need more of those sparks. Oh, there's a recharge on that? I didn't know that. There we go. There we go. I gotta master that turn. Alright, there we go. Wow, my energy got, like, majorly down from that. Alright, there we go. Yeah, he's very, uh... He's got a lot of... Drift to it. I don't know if I choose Fire Stingray. Usually when I play like original SNES uh, F Zero, I choose Fire Stingray, but I don't really like the way he controls here. Oh, it's way snappier with the uh, D pad. What the fuck? That's so weird. Ah. Get the fuck out of my way. There we go. Oh god, not one of those guys. Definitely controls differently than I remember. Oh god, no. Oh! Don't touch those guys. No, thank you. There we go. We're good. Yeah, that's the turn. You got it. Alright, that was fairly straightforward, but there's also 25 people, and none of them are real people. <laughs> Guarantee. Oh yeah, look at CPU 1, CPU 5, and CPU 11. I love it. Look at all these CPUs. <laughs> you could just tell. You could change- you could understand immediately. Sweet. Alright, that was fairly, uh, straightforward. After that immediate death. We don't count that one, that one didn't count at all. I can move on to a 50 pilot race? Oh god. <laughs> Oh, so they're, like, gradually upgrading me to different amounts of players until it's like, okay, now you can handle the 99. Okay, great. All right, well, there's risk react. Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware. Can't exactly do that easily while I'm in the middle of racing, but I still have tutorial to get through as well. 
which, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's something, huh? <laughs> I hope that one's not CPU as well, but it might actually be, which, uh, eh. I mean, that's fine, I guess. It's gotta be what it's gotta be, right? But, uh, yeah, anyways. Oh, there you go, Tara, you got it, you got it. You got it figured out, that's exactly what it is. That's Cluster Truck, yeah. The Cluster Truck's great. I played a decent chunk of it, I don't know if I've played the whole thing, maybe I have. You know what, I might have actually. It's been a while, but I might have actually played the whole thing. Possibly not. But unmute and scream hairy balls. You don't need to scream hairy balls. What's that? Huh. Anyways. Never mind, there's no... It's just soundboards in that. Oh. The icon's just gone? You can just do this. Hairy balls. There you go. You don't need to scream it. You can just have it say it for you. That's why it's there. At any time. Oh, Tara, you got that save on that, the like the back of the truck right there. That <laughs> hard to do. Oh, there you go. I think my favorite victories in this game are where you're like off of the side of a truck or the back or. I guess the back doesn't work very well, but the side of a truck usually, and you've got like a bunch of speed, so you're just between each truck, and you just launch yourself to the end goal where there's like no truck, but you just have so much speed that you just soar through it. It's so satisfying. The best one. Yeah. It was a very long time ago when I played the game, and I'm fairly confident I got to the end of it, but I could be wrong. I know I got pretty far in it. Good game, though. I doubt I'd remember any of it. Outside of, like, the first world, maybe. But, like, this kind of game... It's just it's entertaining, man. Actually, you know, it's funny. A little bit of, uh... A little bit of Risk Red trivia. Uh, one of the first... Thumbnails... That I, uh... I made for the VOD channel, specifically. Uh, which the VOD channel is actually the, uh, well... Yes, actually, the VOD channel was kind of the, uh... The reason why thumbnails are, like, kind of... The, the template is the way that they are now. Uh, and then, like, the main channel got updated to those for the... Few videos that were there... At that time. But, um... One of the first thumbnails that I did... Was, uh for Cluster Truck, which I don't think we never even got to play that. I think things changed last minute, but I had a thumbnail for it. I think that was more so like a test thumbnail than anything. But there you go. I know there were some thumbnails that were done even on the VOD channel before that, but they were luckily all repurposable into the current format, so it's fine. If I change the format again, though, I'm not going back through all the videos and changing that. <laughs> There's too many now. There's like, what, three, almost 400 videos there now? Ooh. That's not great. I mean, it's good, but it's... <laughs> that's not a... That's not a... an amount of videos that you want to go through and change all the thumbnails for again. We did play Cyberhook on stream, which is very similar. The, the grapple hook in this actually looks very similar to that. Other than the grapple hook in that, you can aim wherever you want. I remember one level being really annoying where it was like trucks falling down. Um, it was like trucks going down a bunch of different slopes and they basically were flying off and you had to jump as they were falling like a waterfall between them. And I think it was one of the last worlds. I think it was that one. I think it was sci-fi um, that had that world or that level in it. I don't remember what it was called, but 
they were literally just falling like between each other or something. Yeah, that one. <laughs> That's the one. That one's fucking infuriating. Because as you get up them, you get keep getting hit with the trucks. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking about. It's called Ghosts. Interesting. Um, but yeah. Obviously there are abilities that help you depending on what one you need, but... I don't think I tried to focus too heavily on the abilities. I just kind of wanted to play it with... I, I think the only one I used was like the time slow, because that was like the original ability before they added everything else. I don't know if the original game... Or, I don't know if the game originally when it came out had all the abilities when it was first out. I know when it was like early access before it was officially out, it only had like the time slow and that was pretty much it. Oh yeah, and there's a goal on one of the trucks, I forgot about that part, yeah. Yep. Oh, I remember this one too, fuck that level. <laughs> okay, I'm fairly confident I got through most of them then, because I remember all these. I remember more than I, I was leading myself to believe. For sure. It fucking rocks, man. <laughs> God. You said Super Cluster Truck. Is there actually a sequel to this game that I didn't even know about? Hold on. Going away for like one second, Terra. Don't mind me. I'll be back in a minute. There you go. We're back. Alright, I'm gonna... Super Cluster Truck. Is this a thing? Oh, there's Super Truck. Okay, well, I knew that one, yeah. I've never played that, actually. Is that in Normal... Uh, is that in Normal Cluster Truck, or is that its own game? It's Super Truck. It's Super Hot and Cluster Truck. <laughs> Which is amazing. That's kind of sick. Let me look. I gotta know now. Time slow, but is was that just like a mod of that, or is that? Can't even tell. Cluster truck, super truck. Is that a DLC? I literally can't even get an answer on that. I've never. I've kind of lightly heard of it. Okay, the page for it that I found that was the official page for it does not exist. What happened with that? What the fuck? Super hot meets cluster truck. That's weird. Huh. Okay, well. Either way, in theory, there's like a super hot super cluster truck. Which I, I, I knew about kind of a little bit. It sounded familiar, but... Huh. Weird. I wasn't sure if it was a DLC or another game or whatever. And I knew there was time slow and everything, but... Burb? Sk Scoot the burb. Um, alright, great. Well, with that in the meantime, I will, uh, we'll check out for now while the, the burb exists. Uh, let's see, uh, what's on over here? I gotta get my 50 done. I guess. That's my, my priority. That's what I gotta do. I'm still only level one of nothing. Is that zero of 300 points for one level, or is that how many levels there are? I hope. <laughs> but assume that's how many points there are. There's also tickets up in the corner, which you guys can't really see very well, but they're right up there. Right in the top right. I'm assuming that's for, like, the cosmetic side of everything. Okay, I don't know if this is still bots or not, but we'll see. I'm not going to choose the Fire Sting right now. Okay, acceleration. Actually, the grip apparently is really good. All right, well, let's try Golden Fox and see. I'm just going to go up and change. Oh, am I still Golden Fox, or did I change to the... I can't, I don't know now. Oh, well.
Oh yeah, I'm Golden Fox, okay. Yeah, there's some customizable racers here, but I don't know if they're... I don't know if they're CPUs still or not. I think they're still CPUs, but they do have customization now, which is interesting. I think that's the coolest thing in this game, is the fact that there's customization for the vehicles. I feel like I'd just help modders out for, like... Oh, I actually like the way the Golden Fox controls. What the fuck? It has, like, less grip, but it feels more accurate. Oh, never mind. <laughs> fuck. Oh, this part's gonna suck. Okay, that was fine. It's worthwhile. It's kind of hard to boost, but... I think it'll be fine. Oops. I don't know the best- oh god, oh no, oh god, no, fuck. Shit. Big Blue I've always found to be very hard. Original Big Blue, anyway, this one. Whoa! Okay, somebody blew up. New safe. Oh, I see. So it's you gotta be in like a certain position to stay safe. That's interesting. Understandably, understandable, but... Oh, fuck. Oh god, stop bouncing. Holy shit. Hey, Red, guess what? Oh, no. Don't do it to me. I know the urge is there, but... So it says four laps, take but... Those glasses off. Take those glasses off. Oh, God, I can't pause it yet. Oh, God, no. How do I handle this? I'm in the middle of it. Fuck. Jesus Christ, this is ultra-violent. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna take him off. It's kind of hard when you're playing. There we go. As fast as I can possibly do. I'll add a 30 second penalty. It's fine. It's all good. Oh my god. Alright, so I didn't actually have to finish first in that. I just had to not get wiped out. So you could still win without getting first? That's interesting. There's still four laps in a way. That's cool. Well done, your last trial will be a 99 pilot race. Oh, Jesus. These are all the trials still. So are F-025 and 50, like, still an option, or is it just, like, temporary? Because it'd still be cool to have, like, smaller races with people. But anyways... <laughs> Boo, fuck, don't do that. That's scary. I, I can't handle it. My heart can't take it. Alright, do I try, like, Pico or something for max grip? Or, sorry. He's not max grip, but he's, like, close. Alright, let's try Wild Goose. Some Pico action. Oops, I backed out. <laughs> My bad. I get A and B confused still on this controller. Alright, there we go. Stop the racers, how's it going? I hope well, I hope it's good. I don't know if it's still CPUs or not, I would assume. <laughs> I'll know if I get, like, super destroyed or not. Or if I see names, maybe? I assume they're probably not showing me names until it's real people. I don't know if it even does that. I think so. Oh yeah, that's... <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not real players. At least it doesn't seem like it. And I'd be racing against rival pilots of similar skill rank. Oh god, I have rivals too? Jesus. Okay. Finish with a higher rank than your rivals, your skill rating will increase. Okay. Alright. Okay, so it seems like there actually is like a boost. Whoa. There's just like a giant starting arena pit. That's interesting. Can't even boost yet. All right, once you go over the thing, you can... Ah, look at that. That's cool. I keep seeing, like, the red fire. I keep thinking it's my... Pr like... 
I keep thinking it's my profile picture. Okay, Piku. Piku. Pico is the one for me. It just has the right amount of control. What is going on over there? Oh, that's the big starting area. That's what it is. Okay, he's harder to turn when you want to go sharp, but I like how he controls generally. I'm liking Pico, man. Not that Pico. That Pico sucks, but... Go figure that Pico is the one that's doing well. Come on. The only problem is he's not very fast. No, stop. Wait, can I attack those guys to get stuff? No way, right? All right, come on. I enjoy Mute City more. I feel like I can do more here. I can't boost a lot though. I gotta be careful. Here we go. Oh, I missed it. There we go. Oh, five pilots ranked out. I might rank out if I... Oh no. Go. Oh my God. <laughs> that last turn was awful. There we go. Oof. Nice. I defeated all the rivals. I mean, it's very basic considering they're not real. Can I confirm again? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Okay, there we go. That's cool, though. All right, I'm liking the vibe. Look, at the end of the day, I was like, I'm going to have to play this at least once. So that, like, you know, the support is there. I hope. All right, you can put your glasses. Oh, back I can put on. the glasses back. Okay, well, I'll I'll wait an extra thirty seconds for that, because I was a little off. I have a little bit of water, real quick. Don't mind me. But I figured that with um, I'm hoping this is like the the theories that have been that this game is like the testing ground to see if you know people still want an F Zero game. I hope that's true, and I hope that it works well for that purpose. Because a new F-Zero would be awesome. However, if they, like, reboot it completely from, like, you know, being like F-Zero GX, then, you know... <laughs> you know, it's not as good to me, personally, but, you know, it still works well enough. Uh, you see, ticket points based on how well you do in each race. Okay. Gotcha. But no tickets, which will allow you to enter the Grand Prix and Mini Prix. Okay, I see. Hmm. Okay, I gotcha. I get it. Oh, I'm level two already. So it's got to be like impossible to be level one in in any like online race. Gotcha. I wonder if I'm like put with people of similar levels. I'd imagine. Also, I don't know how good the online is, but it's Nintendo, so you know, there's that. Uh, the Grand Prix is where 99 pilots take on a series of five races. Whoa. Uh, okay. You need three tickets to participate in the Grand Prix. It starts at 12 a.m. Oh, I see. So it's only like certain points in time. Special event Pro Tracks. Oh. Interesting. Practice in the workshop. What can I do in the workshop? There's a workshop to customize your machines or pilot cards if you records. Oh. Whoa. Did they ever say if they're getting rid of this game? That I don't know. Oh, they're all like different. Oh, I see. There's first place in a Grand Prix and you get this. Oh, I see. I thought it was like you get points to buy these things. Okay, well that's fine too. That works, yeah. Sick. Right, what about these? I gotta know, I'm curious. Oh, this is just for this. Oh. I see. Well, that's fine. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, I got a daily check-in bonus? Oh. Great. And you know what? Something as simple as that would make me check this game multiple times. 
Insert scariest jump scare in the world here. <laughs> I just shit my pants. Because that's how scary that was. Literally full of shit. Just right, like, literally as much shit in your pants that Take you could possibly have. Take those glasses off. Take those glasses Oh, okay, well, they're already off, so you know what? Well, they'll just stay off, I guess. Uh, I'm doing Wild Goose, because he kind of had the most hope for me outside of speed. Vote for Trek. Uh, Deathwind. Oh, wow, that was really close, too. Wow. Alright, well, I'm about to get destroyed here. Everybody's gonna be, like, level 50. Oh, well. I guess the, the whole hope is to just get and, like, not die. That's it. Alright. Let's go. There we go. Oh god, everybody's getting attacked right now. Oh! Alright, I'm right in the bottom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's go. There's so many bits on here. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh, people already blew up. Death of Wind sucks because it's like, it's just wind constantly in one direction, which makes it really hard. Oh, I got a super boost. Oh, everybody's up here right now. <laughs> There we go. Oh my god. This is actually... This is kind of insane. I'm having a good time already. It's hard, though. I'm in, like, 50th? Oh. I didn't mean to boost like that, but okay. There we go. Skyway. I'm getting up there. Need a mod in eight minutes? Well, no problem. You know, you gotta do something like that, and you, that's what you gotta do. It's all good. There is not a lot of extra places to charge here. Oh, okay, I got like 40. <laughs> yeah, 41. That's not great, but man, that's hard to get up there. Alright, well, I did okay. Oh, I defeated all my rivals, though. Let's go. That's what we need. Nice. Alright, well, I didn't do too well, but I'm okay with that. That worked out pretty nicely. Yeah, I kind of, I'm liking it. I like the vibe of this. It's actually really good. Alright, well, I'll do a couple more races. Uh, a little bit more water. Be chargeable though. <laughs> is, is he in here? Mario's apparently in here. Look at that guy. Holy shit, Mamma Mia. There he is. Let's see. Uh, Andrew Savvy. Honestly, that online worked really well. I've heard that this is one of the first like games that Nintendo has done that has a dedicated server. Which is amazing. <laughs> Thank Christ. You don't need any of that peer-to-peer -peer shit, especially if you're on, like, Nintendo Switch Online. And already paying for that. Nice. Hey, I'm level three. Let's go. New pilot card backdrop? Let's go! Got a new practice course. Oh, so I actually have to unlock the courses by going on that? And we all know how dedicated servers suck from <laughs> Dead by Daylight. Well, look. Servers kind of go from, like, a whole different range, right? Like, in terms of that, you know, dedicated servers might suck in that realm. Also, on top of that, it depends on the, like, type of server and, like, how high quality the server is and how much load it can take and how many servers they have and that kind of thing. So that, you know, that's a whole other 
ball game. But from Nintendo's standpoint, all of their online has been like connecting basically, okay, here's this player. Now they're going to connect to this player, which connects to this player. It's like a big daisy chain. And there's no real server for that, which is even worse. <laughs> and it never works. It does work, but it's bad. And so dedicated servers are much better. So I'd much rather that than anything else. All right. You can put your nope. glasses back can on. I put my glasses back on? Okay, finally. My glasses, I can see again. I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, but all right. Great. You know, it, it's kind of funny. There are, like, points in my... Points in time for me, and I've only experienced it recently, in, like, the last six months. And for a long time, like, you know... People like my parents and relatives would, uh, I'll say Sand Ocean since we haven't done Sand Ocean yet. Um, but I'm good with either. Hey, there you go, look at that, it worked out. <laughs> so there are, like, points in time where, like, you know, from, like, years in the past, I'd be like, or, you know, that are just kind of missing from my memory a little bit. Not missing entirely, just like most of it, I just don't, like, outside of, like, basic things, I don't really remember specific points in time. And some of which... ...is because there's, like, certain points in time where, oh god, what the fuck? Why are they so far ahead? Oh, I can't boost yet, that's why. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, did everybody start on, like, other sides? There we go. Got it. More my stream. We will in a minute. Now I'm actually online. Finally. Oh, I hate Sand Ocean for that part specifically. Oh god, oh god, oh god. It's me trying to remember how all the, the tracks go with like 99 other people on it too, which is really hard. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, I got that boost right at the end. Holy shit, that was perfect timing. Oh my god. I do like that it doesn't really let you off in a bad location. So there are actually optimal places to use that. Which is interesting. Oh god, why did I use that much boost? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Ah, I knew he was gonna attack me. Fuck, I wasn't looking at my energy. Well, shit. Well, I defeated one rival, so at least I got some points out of it. Damn. Well, at least I have the track so I can practice it now. It's been forever since I played Sand Ocean. Jesus Christ. That was more what I wanted that for, because I'm like, my god. Alright, cool. Oh, so I gotta just bow out of that immediately? Oh, that's cool. Always good for the timing, you know? I'll take it. Yeah, I can't tell... I couldn't look at... That's the one thing I want. I want to know what the player levels are, because it doesn't really show me that. Hey, there we go. We got Sand Ocean. <laughs> Perfect. That track sucks. That and... I don't know Silent. I don't know what tracks are in here. If they have Silence in here, it's gonna suck, too. Because that track's hard. Port Town's okay, I think. I don't really remember it very well, but... Uh, alright. I don't know how much more time we had on that stream of that. But, I mean, we could do that. Uh, actually, what is in practice? How does this work? Does this just show me, like, courses and it's just... Is this, like, time trial mode? Or is it literally just, like, a... Ghost all machines. Hold on. Current machine or off. Oh, I see. So if I just go into this... So let's say like Big Blue or something, right? This just allow me to like... Ah, look at that. Oh, okay, so I can literally just do like four laps and everything. So if you just want to play like a normal F-Zero, you technically can. <laughs> Not that there's much desire to do it, but... You can if you want to. See, I don't know if, like... Uh, unlike Mute City, I don't know the best places to boost on Big Blue. I love the music of it, though. 
Yeah, I guess here, right? But you want your power as well. Actually, it would be there. Right in there. Alright, I don't need to do the practice mode, but... I was just curious what it was like. But yeah, anyways. I had a, uh... I had a point in time where, like, my, my uncle lived with me, which was a weird point in time. Um, just with, like, my family, because basically there was, like, a, you know... And there's a lot of specifics of that, but basically it was something, like, where he was living based on, you know, somebody else. Let's do Big Blue, actually, since I was literally just playing it. I've got to imagine Big Blue wins most of the time. I just due to a bunch of circumstances, that's kind of the only option he had at one point in time. It was really weird because it was like, you know, I'm trying to think how old I was, probably like 15, 14, 15. And it was weird because my stream, okay, well, we'll do that after I'm either killed or do this race successfully, one or the other. Probably die, but we'll try. We'll try to make it work. Alright, let's try to get... I guess everybody's, like, main thing is trying to... Just to get your main boost or whatever. Hmm. When I was 14 and 15 and that happened... You know, a lot of the desire there is obviously to have, like, a little bit of... Uh... I guess independence, you just kind of want to have your space, right? So I didn't really have a lot of that. And so, both good and bad, I guess, but... Okay, I'm gonna watch my energy now, I'm not gonna boost again, because I can't really. I'm actually focusing quite a bit. Oh god, there's so many ships that are blowing up right now. What the fuck is happening? Oh god. I just want to finish the race at this point. I was doing really good position-wise, but... Oh wait, there's one more lap. Oh, that was bad. I thought there was another... Oh god. I need more of the sparks. Oh, there we go. Oh god, that was really bad. Lick my balls. <laughs> I like that username, he blew up, but that's okay. I don't think I defeated every rival. Oh, I did. Oh shit. Alright. Well, it worked out for me, I guess. The top 50. That seems to be my area. I'm one slot lower than I was last time. I was doing really good for a little bit, but then I... I guess just a bunch of people passed me. I, I, I guess it's probably better to, like, save up your boosts and stuff for, like, the mid of the race so that you're off sequence from everybody else and you can get in front of them at the end of the race. Huh. Well, there's a lot of learning that way, but, uh... Anyways, that's interesting. But, yeah. At that time in my life, uh... Sorry, I'm going back and forth. It's it's hard to... to focus on the fast-paced action of F-Zero. There's a mini pre right now. That's cool that there's little like temp events happening for a little bit of time. That's really nice. I like that. Uh, but anyways, um, you know, at that point in my life, I was like, you know, I was in my like normal room and then I had like a secondary room that I had stuff in, which is kind of how I have stuff now. I have like this area and then I have, you know, my bedroom, uh, which is kind of how I had it at that time. Uh, different rooms, but same kind of setup. Uh, all my stuff moved into like this really tiny, like I felt like Harry Potter in a weird way. Because I was just crammed into this, like, tiny little room where my bed was and everything was. And I would stream from that room, too. I had, like, my computer in the corner, and then I would sit on my bed, and there was a TV on the wall. 
and it was a weird thing, and I didn't have anything at the time to even read chant. My monitor was, like, over to the side, and so I had, I, I think for a while I had an iPad, but it didn't really work because it didn't last long enough for stream. It was an old iPad, right? It was old at that time, uh, so it did not have a lot of power. Is my stream? We're getting there, we're getting there. I gotta, I gotta change settings and stuff so I can get over there. Um, there we go, we should be good. But, uh, anyway, oh god, I don't even know what... Open TTD, I don't even know what this is, but okay, sure. Showcase to me what this even is, because I don't even know what it is. Um, but anyways, um, you know, and... A lot of the time I would just look at chat over at the monitor, I'd be like, I, I don't know what, I'd mostly be playing Mario Kart, or some platformer. Um, and I'd be like, alright, let me look at the chat. And then look back. <laughs> it was just a lot of that, for really no reason. Oh. Well, hi Tara, how's it going? Um, but yeah, that was, it was a, that was a whole thing. It really was. And I think, uh, outside of that, I, I think, you know, I, I, I say, I remember one thing is it's very gross. Um, at that time I had a, um, I had a, a camera set up in like my living room space, main top floor. And it's a very open concept -y. There's like kitchen and the dining room and the living room are all kind of in the same area. So if you set up a camera in the right spot, you can pretty much see most of the room. Um, and so, you know, and, and I don't even really remember this too much, but you know, because my uncle was living with me, he was obviously having like dinners that we all had, right? Um, but I don't really remember ever like having dinner. I think he pretty much just ate on his own, you know, probably upstairs and the rest of my family went downstairs and watched TV or something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure he did that a lot of the time, because uh, even though he was living there, he wasn't really involved with us outside of like some things like that, or like when laundry was happening, you know, everybody's laundry would happen at the same time, save water and power and stuff. Um, but either way, there was one time where we had dinner and it was like, you know, we had maybe like a roast or something and some potatoes and peas and some shit like that, right? Um, with like some pieces of cheese or something, right? I'm not sure if that was the exact meal, but I know it had cheese with it. And one of the things that happened for whatever reason is um, we would leave like the cheese out on the cutting board that it was cut on and it would just be there. And then, you know, at dinner, you just take how many pieces you wanted. And so it was left on the counter or whatever. Everybody's getting the food they want. Everybody goes off and, you know, we eat food wherever. And, uh, I know from that footage, because I remember watching it back from the camera, from that night, um, he was eating upstairs, so you could see him there. It's like, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, but then he went away for a while, he went to, like, the washroom, and during the time that that happened, he had finished his food, but he was gonna go back to get more cheese. But, during that time, one of my cats, different cat that I don't have anymore, um, who's passed away at this point, went up on the counter and started eating or licking the cheese and licked all the fucking cheese and then jumped down and then he went, came back out and grabbed the cheese and then ate a bunch more. <laughs> and it's not that bad, really, at the end of the day, but it's not great. <laughs> like, I don't know about that. I don't know if you want to do that. And obviously he didn't know about it, and I'm like, oh god. That's why I don't go back for cheese. Shouldn't have been left out, really. He didn't put it away probably put it in the fridge or something, you know, keep it, but, man. Eh. Oh well. Just some fucking gross cheese. By the way, Tara, I assume the game is supposed to be uh, doing something, it's not really at the moment. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's doing what it do, I guess. By the way, it's a very uh, top-down kind of game. Any game in, like, this style, for me, none, none has grabbed me, personally. I'm not saying any of them are bad. Just for me personally, it's not something that usually grabs me. I guess the closest thing would be like a roller coaster tycoon, because it's kind of the same thing, but like just, you know, perspective wise and overall, I guess, visually a little bit, it's like the pixel art style. Um, but that being said, uh, it's, it's something, I guess. 
By the way, that point in time, I don't really remember too much. And then outside of that, I guess I'm going to put on some music for right now, just so we have a little bit of background. I don't know if this is uh, supposed to be happening or not, but either way. Um, but anyways, so, you know, that point in time, other than like a few things like that, I don't really remember too much from then. And it, it, was a, it was a weird point in time. I just remember being cramped in that room. It was kind of bad. At that time, I still had a twin bed. Thank Christ. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to fit in there. That room now is actually where the, uh, not the current stream room is, but where the stream room used to be, um, aka the background that uh, was part of background two, uh, background season two. That background, that room was from the old stream room. Um, that room is actually eventually opened up into the room next to it. Um, and so it's much bigger now. Uh, and I was in that room for a little while. Uh, but that one's fine because it's a nice, <laughs> it's a nice sizable room, but like the, the probably going based on that picture of that room basically to where the door like started and then off to where like my mirror was was basically all one room that's the only room I was in at one point um, and it was not great it was not fantastic but you know you do what you do you make it work in some way so it was generally good it was at least nice because you can never really lose anything in there and I'm pretty bad at that I'm somebody who will lose a remote in my hand for five minutes um, and then go, oh, I'm holding it, you know, so that, that be me a little bit. I, I just do stuff like that in very dumb ways, but it happens, you know, <laughs> uh, I have a little bit more water here. Well, Tara, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, but there's not really anything happening right now, at least from uh, my perspective. But, uh, I guess that's how it be. Uh, but all right. I'll give an extra minute or, or so, but after that, I'll have to, to call it from there. Just get to wear the glasses now. How about that? <laughs> uh, but yeah. You know, I think partially too at that time, I didn't really have like a lot of, uh, time management system set up. I didn't really have, I didn't do a lot of stuff with, um, you know, a lot of my time was just, oh, wherever it goes, or it'd be like very, probably realistically ADHD like, where it's like, you know, you're either tunnel vision on one specific thing or you're between bouncing between things. There's no real in between of that. There's no like proper management between, okay, this much time to this, this much time to that. It's more like, okay, I'm doing this. Never mind, I'm doing this right now. Or I'm doing this. I should be doing this, but I can only do this right now. So I've done a lot of that. And so, you know, pro again, that makes me believe that there's probably a little bit of that there uh, going on in the old noggin. But uh, I think generally, at least for me, uh, you know, when I was in high school and everything, I think that generally worked out because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do uh, a lot of the time or spend my time. So just hopping back and forth between different things made a lot of sense. And then by the time college came around, it was a lot of, you know, you got to manage that shit. Used to have a whiteboard for that. Uh, I don't think I have it anymore. I should probably get another whiteboard, but I don't know how much I'd use it now. Maybe I would. I make calendars for things now, so that's good. I never thought I'd be a calendar person, but now I am. At least lightly. Not, like, super specific with it, but just, like, you know, oh, I know overall I'm doing this in that day, or supposed to be doing this on that day, so let me just at least put that there. That's the important bit. I'm not going to be like, you know, take shit at 2.30. You know, maybe not that, but you could be that crazy about it if you really wanted to be, but eh, I don't know. Well, all right, I'm leaving that, leaving that there because there's, there's not a lot going on there. So, I mean, you know, I guess I'll have to look up what uh, OpenTTD is because I don't know. I've not heard of that in my life, but I mean, eh. I guess I could research that a little bit more. When I see a game like that, I think like, oh, is it like Civ or something? Or even Di in like original Diablo a little bit, I guess I think had that style. Even like modern Diablo does, but obviously visual fidelity is a little bit higher. Um, but still, by the way. All right, let's get the, uh, the music on out of here. Let's uh, hop back in. 
I'll do a few more games of this. I I'm curious, you know, I just I always want to check. Grand Prix starts in 45. I guess we could keep playing until we do a Grand Prix, but I don't think I'm going to be that <laughs> that practice for a Grand Prix. I'll probably be out immediately, especially if, like, sand oceans in there. <laughs> Alright, I'm sticking with Wild Goose. It seems to be doing wonders for me. I'm seeming to like it a little bit. Now let's do Mute City. Classic Mute City is always good. It's a short-ish track, but it works. Yeah, everybody's going to vote for Mute City. It's still pretty, de like, divisive, though, which I like. That's nice. Santiago. Well, I better take down Santiago. At the very least. Otherwise, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. All right. I was kind of trying to see if there was a different... Oh, he bumped me right off the plate. That's going to fuck me up. Now everybody's ahead of me. Okay, okay hit nobody. Okay, I gotta get back up a little bit. I didn't do that. Alright, get me on this uh, track. There we go. That was probably a terrible thing, but I really needed to get a little bit of space. Okay, this is probably a bad use of energy, but... Uh, I should have spun there. Oop. Okay, charge up a little bit. I missed. I need like one spark. There we go. There we go. Got him. Recharge me. God, that lasts a long time. Do you get more points if you blow up somebody that's like about to blow up? I'm curious about that. They were almost on the last lap. Alright, I think I still did worse. 49. Oh, barely top 50. Jesus. There is a lot of difficulty, but hey, I'm I'm beating all my rivals, so that's all I care about. Very nice. Okay. I'm doing overall worse. <laughs> I guess, but I mean, I guess I'm also playing on Mute City. That's probably a lot more refined. It's kind of hard to pass anybody on that. But it works out, I guess. Oh, I can see their level. So who won the top? The person who won first is level 94, and then after that it's 73. Third is level 14, that's not bad. 11th, level 6. Respect. Any of the low levels in like the top areas is pretty, pretty respectable. Yeah, everybody's like, I'm one of the lowest level people here. Other than a lot of people down here, but... Well, at least I'm not doing terribly, I guess. I'm doing as average as possible, right, right in the middle. Literally directly in the center. I mean, technically not, because there's a bunch of pilots that get eliminated after that, but still. Huh. Alright. Cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm level 4 now, though. Which means I have to start doing better. It's the only way. There's probably some strategies, for sure, that I'm not figuring out yet. This is something where I have to, like, play it, like, you know, for, like, two weeks, and then I'll come back. <laughs> and then we'll see how much better it is. We need one more. Never mind. Well, I'm going for Deathwind, because Sand Ocean sucks. <laughs> Haven't been on the losing count yet. Which is really weird. I've literally been on the right side of the boat every time. Nice. 
Yeah, there's two players playing from the same. Wait, is there split screen in this? I don't actually know. That I have no idea about. Alright. If there is, like, a special boost that you can get, I'll figure that out much later. I didn't jump, I'm very dumb. I missed the boost. I missed the attack. I missed literally everything. Alright, well, I've done a really bad start so far. Oh my god, I can't hit any of the plates. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Alright, I had to use that boost immediately because I need something to get up real fast for now. Oh, I missed that boost. I didn't miss that boost. Oh shit, there you go. Ah, uh, <laughs> I fell down in a shitty spot. Nope. Okay, probably shouldn't have boosted there. We're good. I'm just trying to talk you through the strand a little bit. Okay, if I just bump this guy, it's good. Yeah. So attacking him is really good, but if I bump him, then it's at the very least, you know, slightly better. Everybody's stealing the sparks. There we go. Oh, I'm not doing good at all. <laughs> Ah, I keep missing the panel. I had to do better than I did last time. Ah, uh, right at 50. Right at 50. Yeah, as I'm leveling up, it's getting harder. But I think I'm trying to, like, overthink a bunch of different parts of the mechanics. Alright. As long as I defeat my rivals, that's all I care about. Alright, cool. Well, you know, it's pretty much a, it's a very simple loop, but there's, you know, there's not, like, a lot to it, but... It's addictive in that weird, addictive way. Um, I never really got into that sort of thing with, like, Fall Guys, but Fall Guys has that sort of addictiveness to it, and I, I can just tell. And I played a little bit of it when it was first, like, a thing, and that's kind of... The, the vibe that it had, for sure. There's a special event team battle. Ooh, I have a yellow! Oh, I could have just equipped it there. Oops. Let's do that, because I'm going to play... I'm going to go Wild Goose, just shit ton of that. I don't have any decals yet, but when I get that, that'll be good. Um, anyways, let's do, uh, let's do the team battle if I can. Am I able to join that? I'll change things up a little bit. I'm interested. Gotcha. Uh, no, no, I'm good with my machine. I like how it just defaults to your, like, given machine, because most likely you're you're mostly going to find things that, uh... you like. I'm going Mute City, because I'm better at that, but this will probably be my losing vote. Big Blue has such a grab. <gasps> was right, never mind. I've got to imagine a lot of people just, like, pick a random one and just go, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, which team am I on? Pink team or green team? Interesting. Those are weird choices, by the way, but I guess it makes sense with the palette of F-Zero. There isn't really red and blue as common colors. Hey, I'm normal Pico. Where's my cosmetic, damn it? I want my cosmetic yellow. I earned that. I'm kidding, but... I mean, I'm not, but, you know, I don't, I don't care. Okay, I'm trying to get a lot of that, like, super shit at first. Oh, I boosted so badly. That was a terrible boost time. Oh, 
Oh, I did a, such a shitty turn. Well, I'm not doing good in terms of laps and shit, but... Okay, I moved into the side and I knew immediately I had to use it. Again, there's definitely optimal places to use that, because there is not it. I don't know why I didn't attack. There's nobody there. Ooh. Servers. Hello. Okay, get through there. Not getting a lot of the, the sparks this time. Okay, I'm going to try to save it. Oh, that helped a lot. Holy shit. Whoa! That ending, like, save the, the Skyway until the end, is really helpful. Holy shit, I got 27. Whoa. That was a much better rank, holy shit. Ah, uh, but r the rival team's doing better. Oh, no. Well, I tried to do better. I got pretty high, that was my best rank I had. Does that mean I don't get as many points? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't get as many points for that. Damn it, why did I have to do really good on the team race? <laughs> why did I do so good then? Ah. Uh. Alright, well, at least I did that. I'm gonna use a spin attack for that. Oh, I got a badge. Well, I can spin. Holy shit. I can spin. Alright, nice. Well, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too shabby. Uh, Alright, well, uh, you know what? Let's do one more team race. Do one more team race. Just to check it out, just to, to vibe. See how it is. You know, I, I had a, a couple days ago. I, I had a you know some uh, like to the best way to describe it. Big Blue. Yeah, I knew it easily. You knew Big Blue was gonna win. Uh, but I basically I had like a, a thing I had to sign up for for like a completely unrelated thing. Not really important that way, um, but it was through a, a website that's kind of for those, that, that's made specifically to do that. And uh, this time, I don't know if I got, I, I feel like I might have gotten tripped up on, uh, you know, a lot of websites that way that have like email sections and things that are like, oh, sub subscribe to our, our newsletter or something like that. Any website that has that and they really try to like push it to you, like they really want you to be part of that. Um, they also are very annoying with it, but I've experienced probably my most random uh, or my most egregious version of that I've ever seen in my life so far, which is uh, I, I literally did this thing like two days ago. And I've gotten about 20 emails about, like, other promotions and shit. Pink Team takes the lead. Pink Team is destroying. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going up now. Yeah, this is a good spot. Oh, that's a great spot. Holy shit. I'm going to boost through there. I'm trying to do slightly. I did not mean to boost. Oh, somebody pushed me back. Oh, that was a great strategy. Never mind. It worked out really well. Other than I don't have a lot of power. KO. Oh, did I KO somebody? Nice. The fact that the spins are timed are fine, but man, does it suck when you really want to spin. I'm trying to collect the sparks. I'm kind of dropping behind a little bit due to the skyway.
There we go. I'm trying. I can't really get out of the 40 range. It's really hard to get out of that range. Yeah, I would have liked to have the Skyway at the end, and I don't think I'm going to. Honestly, the bumping around is helping me. Ooh, I got 33 right at the end, I think. Like, right at the end? Yeah, I got 33. That's not bad, still. So I'm improving, and that's what matters. I'm actually doing okay. It might be because more people are getting taken out as well, which I highly suspect, but still. Yeah, I've been getting a shit ton of emails from this one company that's like, literally every five minutes, there's like a new one. And it's really bad. I think Pink Team still won. Fuck, man. Pink Team is glorious. I'm trying so hard to do okay, and I'm doing like, eh. I can't say I'm, I'm probably dragging them down, but still, I'm trying my best. Oh well, I've still done okay, I think. Oh well. By the way, this is really fun. It's actually been really, really good to, to play the game. And then right into mini pre's, which is actually kind of sick. Put the pedal to the metal in it. Okay, so that's basically just Grand Prix, but like three races. Interesting. Interesting, okay. Well, I think I will leave it for uh, F099 for now. Um, I'm having a good time with it, but it's pretty good. Much more on my Steam pretend I used 1k and more droplets. Well, you know, I think actually for now, I'm probably, uh, I'll probably leave it for the time being, uh, because I think we're generally pretty good and we've done a, a pretty good amount today. It's a little bit shorter, but, uh, you know, everything was kind of impromptu today. Even playing Minecraft today was kind of its own thing. Whoopsie. I'm trying to switch my monitor over and be like kind of chill about it, but it did not work out. Um, but either way, I think I'll probably be wrapping it up here for tonight, actually. You know, just checking out a few things has been cool. Uh, I wanted to get to F-099 at least a little bit on stream and check that out. Um, and so, you know, I'm happy that we were able to get to it in some capacity, because I wasn't really sure exactly, uh, you know, I wasn't exactly sure how we were going to fit that in. I wasn't even really planning on it, but, uh, it worked out for today, I think. It was pretty good. Um, and on top of that, you know, playing, uh, some Minecraft today was good, too, even though it took forever to actually get to an end city. Um, and to even just like lightly show off the Minecraft server is uh, uh, in where it current or where its current state is right now is pretty good as well. So it's uh, it's been all right. It's been good. Again, if you want to join that, that's slimp.chat uh, on Java Edition. Then there's also the IP for it for Bedrock if you're part of that, which is uh, updated as well. It apparently was a little out of date, um, but it's been updated and fixed. So the current version of Bedrock will work once again, which is very good. So if you're playing on Xbox or Switch or anything like that, that'll work uh, as it should. Um, or even, you know, PC, if you're doing it on that. But again, I'd recommend Java Edition. <laughs> it's much better. Uh, but anyways, that's been really good. It's been a good time. Uh, are we going to raid out anywhere? I guess we could. There's really no point. But, no, nah, no, nah, we'll, we'll leave it for now. It's all good. It's kind of a chill night tonight. It's a good old uh, Monday stream. It's kind of just the way it is. All right, well, I'll leave it at that then uh, for now. Uh, it's been good. Again, thanks for everybody who uh, has come by. I know it's been a... A bit of a weird one tonight. Uh, Wednesday, we'll likely do uh, probably Subnautica. I would imagine probably return to that. Uh, we didn't get to get do like a huge amount of that last time on stream uh, because it was kind of just, uh, you know, well, shitting myself. <laughs> the, re the, the hot sauce just hit me real hard. So uh, I'll have to return to that and uh, hopefully get a good chunk of that done as well because, you know, we, we got to make up for lost time a little bit. But anyways, it's been good. That's everything for me. Uh, hopefully see you at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, on Wednesday. Hopefully with some Subnautica. But anyways, that's been everything. Uh, I'll see you guys and uh, have a good rest of your day, afternoon, evening. Whatever it is for you. And uh, I'll see you. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.